And what is up guys? Welcome back to Acceleracers Hub for another video. So today I have another Acceleracers Booster Pack opening video for you guys. I know we've been doing this a lot recently, but I just keep finding these packs for decent deals. Not great deals anymore, but decent deals. So today I have five more Acceleracers Booster Packs. Now I know I just did an opening of five booster packs probably last week. It's funny, I just posted that video today, February 26th, and these five just came in today. So I'm sure it'll be like a week or so before I end up posting this video because I don't want to post back-to-back -back pack opening videos. I like to space them out a little bit on the channel for you guys. But anyways, today we're going to be ripping through these five booster packs looking for some more 3D foils. And I got these five from the same seller that I bought the last five from, the ones that I've pulled two 3D foils in the first two packs. So I'm also kind of nervous, like, did I already pull, like if this was a total of 10 packs and there are two 3D foils in the 10 packs, did I already pull the two of them? So are these five empty with nothing in them? Who knows, but I'm hoping that we can pull like one or two more. That would be friggin' awesome because I think I don't have any on my page right now and uh, I'd love to get some more. And uh, a seller from Canada actually just started listing a bunch of 3D foils and I messaged him sort of asking how many he had on hand. And uh, he definitely has a bunch. He has probably 10 to 20 at least uh, 3D foils that he's been listing over the last week or so. So hopefully if you guys are missing some cards, you're able to get them for a decent price because he is selling them a lot cheaper than I was because uh, he definitely has access to a lot more of them. So he can afford to list them at cheaper prices when he has duplicates of 3D foils. But anyways, today, let's jump right into this pack opening. The cards that I'm really hunting for, obviously the Metro Realm and the two Excel Charger 3D foils. I really need those back in stock again. And uh, I'd also love to get some foil realm cards like the Desert Realm, Reactor, Lava, because I'm out of stock, I think, on all the foil realm cards. And I really would love to get some more in stock. So let's jump right into this first pack, shall we? All right, so let's jump right into this first pack here. Let's see. All right. So the first card of this pack opening is Behemoth Mosquitoes. That's not an awesome start. Then we've got Hyper Drift Tech. Love getting those Teku vehicles. You guys love them. The Junk Realm. Vector Thrust. Hot Wire. Slalom. RDO 8, no, RDO 5 version 2. Impervious Tires. Strato Thruster Foil Card. Forest Inferno, Rocket Socket Hyperpod, Vector Magnesium, Stone Sphinx, the Ice Realm, and Simulator Run. So in that pack, we actually pulled a lot of like three to five dollar cards. Hyper Drift Tech, the Junk Realm, RDO 5 version 2, Forest Inferno, Rocket Socket Hyperpod. That was a pretty good pack, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's jump right into this second pack here. And I think part of the reason why I do so many of these pack openings is because I, you just don't know when there's going to be any more Acceleration Booster Packs available. So uh, there could be a point where there's just no more that are sealed out there. We really don't know how many are sealed. So uh, I always try to get them and open them as much as I can because uh, after a while there won't be any left to open. So I want to open as many as I can while there's still some available and before the prices hit like $200 a pack. So let's get into the second pack here. We've got Active Camouflage. The Micro Realm, that's an awesome $15 pull. Hyper Baseline. Poly Alloy Wheels, a lot of rare cards that we're getting here. RDO 4 version two. Escher's Ward, we're getting some really good cards here. Meteor Shower. And we pulled a 3D foil, wrong way card. Let's go guys, we got our first 3D foil of the pack opening. That is a beautiful card. Look at the art on that card. We'll take it. That's a good $150 to $200 pull. Let's keep going here. We've got Rev Matching, Toxic Gators, Torqued Flathead Fury, Nightlife, Turn and Burn, Air Refresher, and Dodging Disaster to wrap it up. So we pulled a 3D foil in our second pack. Man, I must've just had horrific 3D foil pack luck for the first couple months that I was opening packs because lately it's been like, a 3D foil every three or four packs, which surely maybe that is just the rate that you pull them at. For some reason, I thought it was much harder to pull them. But we will take the 3D foil wrong way. Um, there's not many of you guys that need a wrong way card, but a 3D foil is a 3D foil. I'm not going to complain. So we're going to jump right into this third pack. We've got the Water Realm. Great start. The Labyrinth Realm. Let me see what's next. Um, I think it's Choke Valves. Yup. Then Visor Mask. Yup. Then Maze Minotaur. Yep, nice and easy, guys. <laughs> you start recognizing these patterns. The Chrome Realm, Hyper Beams, Vectra Octanium, not bad, and a Hyper Reverb Foil card. 
These are definitely pretty common to get out of these booster packs. And the three packs, they're pretty hard to find. But uh, in the booster packs, you pull Hyper Reverbs fairly commonly. So we got Pick a Line, Ice Shrapnel, Hyper Nightlife, Wind Shark, Under the Hood, and Avalanche to wrap it up for that pack. And as I'm opening this fourth pack here, let's talk a little bit about pricing. I normally, I forgot to talk about it in the beginning, honestly. So I paid a total of $350 for these packs, um, for these five. So it was an average of, I think like $75 a pack or 70, what's 70 times five? Yeah, it was $70 a pack on average. So I definitely paid a little more than I'd like for these packs. But like I said, I feel like we're coming down to the last couple of pack openings we'll be able to do. So I wanted to go ahead and get them no matter what they costed. So for $350, that wrong way card will uh, probably allow us to get our money back. And uh, if we can pull something else crazy, we'll definitely make a sizable profit on it. But we have probably at least broke even with that wrong way card, which is really the goal is just to break even at minimum. So let's go ahead and see what we got in this fourth pack. We've got Maze Minotaur, Chrome Realm, but the next one's Hyper Beams, Hyper Beams, Vector Octanium, Lightning Rod, Hyper Spectite, Downshift, it's coming up, is this it? Proto Sharks, next one. Home Track Advantage, Blown Hydrant, Hack Mimic, Dual Driller Hyperpod, that's a good one. Draft and Pass, The Swamp Realm, and Carnivorous Plant. So we have one more pack to go to pull another 3D foil. All right, so let's get right into this fifth and final pack here. Hopefully we can go out with a big bang. Maze Minotaur, the Chrome Realm, lots of Chrome Realm pulls today. That's a good card to have. Hyper Beams, Vectra Octanium, Lightning Rod, Hyper Spectite. Is it the next card? Let's see. Nope. Downshift again. Proto Sharks, here it is. RDO1 version two. Bummer, so only one 3D foil in this pack opening. Oh well. Hyper High Voltage, Undistort. We pulled a Jump Jets, another misprinted Jump Jets. What is up with these Jump Jets cards, guys? So let, uh, let me finish the rest of this pack first before we start looking at it. So we have RDO7, Mutant Vultures, and Wall Crawl to wrap it up, and a misprinted Jump Jets card. Once again, just like the first time I pulled it, the, uh, the coloring down at the bottom is not black all the way down. It sort of turns light blue at the end. And then at the top of the card, there's no black border. So this is the second Jump Jets card that I pulled that looked exactly like this. Um, no idea why this card in particular is misprinted, but either way, we'll probably get a minimum of $100 for it because it is a mint condition Jump Jets. It's perfect on the centering and stuff, even though, I mean, on the whitening, there's no uh, scuffs around the edges. So we'll probably, this is probably a minimum $100 pull. That'll get us a nice profit, guys. That's an awesome, awesome pull. So Jump Jets and Wrong Way are two awesome pulls for the day. Beautiful cards. These will probably make us our money back just by themselves. And then everything else will be a profit on top of that. And I'm definitely going to try to buy those other four booster packs that are uplisted. Um, if I can get to them in time, uh, the seller has um, a weird selling limit on the items so that uh, a buyer like me can't buy more than two listings from him every 10 days, which is a little bit frustrating, but it's not that big of a deal. So hopefully in eight or nine days or whenever uh, I'm able to buy them again, they'll still be there so I can buy those last four packs and hopefully we can get one more good booster pack opening before they're all gone off the market. So that's all I have for today, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to smash the like and subscribe buttons on your way out and uh, feel free to go down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to see more booster pack openings. Always happy to read you guys' comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.